so these two lots that we got were for, i mean the total of eighty dollars they're, they're they were worthy lots I, I, the first one only came with one classic space set but some really really nice parts uh from other 70s sets and then the other lot that we got the bigger bigger lot got, had the one two three four five sets that i could build that i did build and of course some of these well most of these i got a lot of pieces from my collection but it was worth it in the end uh, for eighty dollars to have six classic space sets, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> Especially six, well, five and a half, five and a half high quality classic space sets. I'm just gonna hide that one for now. Five and a half <laughs> high quality, fantastically awesome. I mean, with without any saying of uh, I love basically all classic space sets. One of my favorite 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 sets, and definitely one of my favorite sets. Like seriously, that one again. We'll hide it. <laughs> so, so I I am done building what I want to build, um, what I can build. So we'll talk about the pieces that were left over. We'll start with the white, just a lot of basic white bricks and plates, and then these cool uh, little pieces here, rocket engine. Uh, mini rocket engine, the 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 uh, megaphone, whatever. Uh, this little wing, uh, these guys probably was from uh, this guy. I'm thinking it might have been the original police at 600. I'm not sure at this point because there's nothing else here. I don't have any trans clear uh, pieces or whatever. But I do have a blue. This guy trans blue. Uh, so it could have been the original 600 police set, but I don't have any. Well, I didn't have this guy, right? Um, so maybe, and, and this guy. So that was there. So maybe it is the original classic uh, police minifig 600. Uh, so black, not too many pieces left over again. Uh, six by eight, four by eight. Um, a nice little um, shutter piece. Uh, could be classic space, hinge piece um uh hinges again so but not too many pieces left there uh gray uh this is what i'm thinking gray i didn't bother building it but when you bought that set it came in a kit with the little robot guy and it, i mean there's a lot of panels here and this guy so i think he was that robot dude which i never liked <laughs> and i mean it this time i ain't gonna build them um so, uh, because I'm going to pack all this up. What I did appreciate is I kept all these when I was a kid, uh, all these little sprues uh, that the one by one uh, round plates came on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got something up there. I don't think I can find it quick enough. Um, oh, you did. Look. Look, it's still on the sprue. <laughs> yes, I have one of those laying around. Um, so I kept a lot of those and I used them for like mining. Uh, this is the raw ore and my little things. So I used to have them in a container and I can't even find that container. I haven't seen it in a couple decades now. So it might be gone. Uh, so, but Gray has a lot of interesting parts again from that little mini robot guy that I don't like. Um, so I could, uh, you know, have those. And it's got a nice wheel there. And then blue, this is well, it's left of the blue. So three of these things. So, I mean, I could go look up on... Uh, I'm here on right now to see what classic space set three of those things, at least three of those things, and this guy. Um, and yellow, hardly anything except for basic brick, except for this guy, which I honestly thought was from the uh, bat tracks, but of course all the bat tracks has the pieces built into it. So all those pieces are going to be rolled into the collection. Uh, I'm just going to put them in there. Uh, three of these wheel sets. Again, I could try to figure out what they were from, but I'm not going to because there's hardly any classic space pieces left to build to, to figure out what sets there, there, there were. Um, you know, so uh, this was like 98% complete. I had to grab I had a few, five or whatever pieces. This one was, you know, whatever, 20-ish, 20-ish. Uh, this one was 260 something or whatever, 260. That, that was over half of the pieces I had to grab from my collection, but it's still worth it. And that one had a few pieces from my collection. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with the two lots. Uh, I'm happy with the price we paid. I'm happy with the quality of the bricks. Because again, these bricks are now, let's see, the, the, this would have been released in 1978 which is a whole millennium ago <laughs> when it comes down to it. But uh, 1978, I would have been 11 years old and I'm 54 now. So it's like 40, 43 years ago. 
when you think about it. 43 years ago, this set was released, and then this set was released uh, like three or four years after this guy. So 1982-ish, 1983. Um, that guy was you know, around there, uh, 87 there. So th uh, 34 years ago for that one. And and yet the pieces are remarkably clean, clear, and there are a very few. I found a very few, especially on this guy. Uh, there was teeth marks or something uh, on there. You can see the bottom, but I'm not going to throw it out. Usually I throw out a piece that looks that bad, but because it's a trans red thruster, I'm not going to throw that out. <laughs> if it was just a regular piece, a regular brick, I would have thrown it out. Um, into the pit of doom, which I haven't put anything in a while, so I must be really good at uh, cleaning up most of my bricks. So, um, so in the end, uh, with the pieces left over, um, I honestly am happy. Uh, definitely worth $80. I could probably sell most any one of these sets for over $80. Well, maybe not this one, but uh, the other ones I might be able to... I, I don't know that what the going price is because I never, I never bother checking the prices on BrickLink because I own them. <laughs> so why am I bothering to see what the BrickLink prices are? And I want to keep them. And this is this is this is my hobby, uh, and some people say whatever they want to say, but yeah, this is my sixth right now built, uh, my sixth Galaxy Commander built. So, and uh, this is like eighteen of those. <laughs> so whatever, <laughs> I think this is three or four of that one. This is only my second one of the bat tracks, and that one I did buy in nineteen eighty seven. And uh, I could probably build right now, but that's the only one I have together right now. So that's one uh, right now. And this one, I got three or four, but they're all modified to let the rocket off without taking it apart. Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I had something else I wanted to say, but I forgot it now. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so uh, instead of going off on some wild, wild tangent... <laughs> some something boring that's going to keep people from going to do something else. I think I'll just wrap this up in a nice way. It um, I do have one part minifig left over, uh, so that might help aid trying to figure out what those are for. Um, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to put the, again. I keep on saying this. I don't think I'm going to put that much effort into it and watch me put a lot of effort into it. But probably not. It's the weekend. Uh, I've produced uh, enough videos in the last couple of days to last a week, so I don't actually have to do anything for a week. <laughs> so I am I am going to try to do it this way now, where when I create videos, I'm going to upload them and then schedule them to be released one one a day, uh, instead of having like when I get in a particular mood when I feel like making lots of videos over one or two days, and then I just dump them on YouTube and you guys are stuck watching, you know, five videos in a day. So I'm going to try to keep this schedule going. I'm not going to always have one up, but I'm going to try to limit the number of videos I do upload to one per day um, maximum. I think that's the right word. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want to upload more than one video per day. So I make two or three videos in a night. I'll just space them out over a couple of days. So that's it. That's all. Uh, everybody stay safe. Take care. And uh, I hope you like our little uh, trip through these 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 lots that we got and the uh, the build, uh, very very cool builds, and um, I hope uh, you guys appreciated it. So I will talk to everybody later, and uh, we'll catch up then. Stay safe. <laughs>